Hey y'all, welcome back to Jasmine and Diane. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a video, but today we're talking how to da 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 brand yourself. Personal branding, total buzzwords right now. I got it, I feel you, but I wanna come to you with some tips how to really brand yourself and kick off your brand in 2018. So, who am I? Jasmine Diane, right? Right. So, how to tell your brand story. What do you do? Who do you talk to? What are the words to say, right? So we're gonna start with your elevator pitch. So, elevator pitch, 15 seconds. Who you are, how you can help your audience, who is your audience, where can someone find you? So for me, I'm a lifestyle blogger focused on, focusing on style and career after college. More specifically, I helped um, first generation college students figure out what to do with themselves professionally and then to tag on that side hustle. How do you work nine to five and then have time to do your side hustle, whether that's doing makeup, that's doing hair, that's doing nails, that's photography, that's blogging, that's ceramics, that's painting, whatever that passion is, how do you balance doing that and then your corporate nine to five? Da, da, da. I'm your girl, that's what I teach people. So that's my elevator pitch. Um, next, your social media bio. Whether that's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest. Who are you? Who do you help? Where can people find you? Is it an email? Is it a URL to your site? Is it a URL to your portfolio? Maybe you do all communications via Instagram. Maybe you don't have a site. How can I contact you? I need to know how to get you money, right? Your brand. You want to make money. So how do you um, communicate with your consumers uh, or potential consumers ways to connect with you outside of social media? Do you have a newsletter list? What is in your bio? Location. Are you someone who does on-the-spot paintings? How will I know to contact you if I don't know what city you're in? So it's small things like that that make a bio go from, oh, maybe a few bookings. So, okay, I'm booking you. Maybe you're a fashion blogger and you want to go to Fashion Week in your city. They need to know that you're in that city. Use those hashtags. For me, KC Blogger, Midwest Blogger, sometimes New York Blogger. I'll put that because I do like to travel to New York. But it's about being in the right place, having the right hashtags in your bio, in your comments to really get seen. Next, email signature. Oftentimes forgotten for personal branding, but not today. Um, use your email signature to add your social media links, your portfolio, your URL links. Who are you? What is your title? Where can I find you? Are you hosting an event? Put the link to purchase tickets to your event in that email signature. Put the event page link in your email signature. You need to show people where you are, what you're doing, give them a quick headline. Maybe you had a really popular blog post you're doing or a really popular series. Put the link to that in your email signature. So we got our elevator pitch, which is in person. We have our social media bios, which is just a quick hit. And then we have our email signature full of personal branding, um, URLs, links, titles, and that's for that one-to-one -one communication. You want to make sure you are consistently the same person that is title, that's URLs, that's social, consistent in all those three places because that is branding. That is branding. That's where people see you. That's where people talk to you. That is where people are going to figure out who the heck you are. Next, social media growth. If you are building a brand, you need to be tracking that growth. Whether you use every social media channel, Facebook, Twitter, interest, interest, <laughs> Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, YOLO, whatever, make sure you're tracking that. Um, figure out where you want to be and really make sure you're posting consistently in those places using a tracker um, and just being consistent with what you post across each channel because social media it's free, but you also want to use it to your advantage to get money, to get deals, to get gigs, to get eyes, to get views. Whatever you need for your brand, you want to be growing your audience at all times. I don't care what industry you're in, what field, who your target audience is. You always want to be growing your audience, growing your revenue, getting in front of more people, and specifically more of the right people. You know what I mean? It's not about um, the numbers, but it is about the numbers, if you feel what I'm saying. So... Next, you want to be using apps and tools. Doing everything in real time, it's a no-no. Trust me, I've been blogging five years, and to write a post every morning before I go to work, oh, heavens no. 
and the new mail, the new mail, the newsletter. No, no, you want to make sure you are scheduling content. You're figuring out this month's content or next month's content this month. Pick a lane and stay in it. Like I said, I'm a lifestyle blogger, life after college. That's style, that's career, that's side hustle. And for me, I focus on those things. And right now, specifically, branding. How do you brand yourself with the nine to five and a side hustle? So last but not least, um, growth opportunities, collaborations, events, um, products and services. Let's start with collaborations. Are you looking to your sister or brother to the left or right of you and saying, hey, let's create a project together. Let's do this product. Let's um, recreate this series. Let's have an event. Let's have a mixer. Let's have a party. Let's have an event to get your followers and my followers together, which is more people, more influence. And we're going to use this event to... Um, kick off our joint venture or we're going to use this to showcase your event and my talent or I'm going to do your makeup live you're a model I'm a makeup artist you're a photographer I'm a model you're a fashion brand I'm an influencer you're a pastry chef um, and I'm a store owner I'm a store owner and you want to showcase your art you do ceramics you do painting you do poetry you sing you dance let's collaborate we're all in the same city Let's work together to grow our brands, to get out of this city, take over the region, take over the country, take over the world. It's time to collaborate. Stop looking at everybody in your industry, just really everybody around you who's doing good as competition and say, hey, she's swaggy, she winning. How can I work with her to create something dope? Because you always want to be looking for ways to create content, products, and services to help your audience. And not just to help your audience until you can create something else they need, but really to help. Because when you can change somebody's life through a product, through a service, through an event, when you can inspire somebody, that's when you've got it. That's when your brand takes off because you're not just doing it to make the money. Or you're not just doing it for the influence, you're doing it to really help somebody. And that, for me, was a game changer. Hosting those brunches in 2017 game changer when someone told me they came to my brunch and they finally decided to host an event that they've been putting off for years for years because they came to brunch and heard from my amazing panel or when someone else told me you know what i'm finally gonna launch my website i'm finally going to do what i've been putting off because of the energy at brunching with jazz man that's what it's all about whether i make a dollar off of it or i make a thousand dollars off a brunch for me <laughs> getting emotional <laughs> for me to see that Women who come from similar backgrounds as me, minority women, disadvantaged women, women who, you know, don't often have a voice, are feeling like, I can do this, man. I can do it. For me, that's what my brand is about. Jasmine Diane is teaching you how to live your best life, how to grow life after college. Maybe you graduated a long time ago, but it's still just about how do I get you to the next level. Anyways, off on a tangent, but let's just recap personal branding. So, you want to be telling your story consistently on social media, your elevator pitch, which is in person, newsletter, um, and email signature. You want to be using apps to help you schedule content. We'll dive more into that. <coughs> Excuse me, and branding with Jazz and more blog posts if you're not at the event. So keep your eyes on jasminediane.com. And then growth opportunities, collaboration, um, events, product services. You always, always, always want to be um, creating. So again, those are just a few quick hits. Personal branding into the new year. Get live, get big. Again, I'm Jasmine Diane. You can find me at jasminediane.com. I'm everywhere at the Jasmine Diane. I will link below. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Peace.